What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Soya Quilting. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these awesome bedside caddies. Let's get started. Before we begin on our project, I wanna show everyone these caddies in use. So here's a couple pictures. Now that you've seen how great these caddies look, let's dive on into this project. You can make this caddy whatever size that you like, but for this tutorial, we'll be making one that is 40 by 16 inches wide. So I've already gone ahead and cut one piece of fusible bolzel at this size and two pieces of fabric. What we're gonna do next is lay the fabric on the top side of our fusible. Let me make sure we can see that in the camera up there. Lay it down. And since this is double sided fusible, I'm gonna take it over to the iron and press this. I'm gonna do the same for the back side. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. This will be the front of my caddy. And the next step is we need to quilt this. I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm gonna start from the center and work my way out at three inch um, increments. So since this is a 40 inch caddy, I'm gonna mark my 20. Here, I'm gonna mark a 20 here. Line up my marks and this will be my first sew line. So in this tutorial, I'm using a Frixon pen. These pens go away with heat, so when I iron this out, all the markings will go away. So I'm gonna just mark this all the way down at three inch increments. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if you can see this on the top camera, but I've got these orange lines coming down. That way I can just sew right on top of the line, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and just quilt this all out. Give me just one second to do that. So here's a pro tip. Whenever you're doing quilting like this on a bag or a caddy or anything like that, you wanna start with your center seam and work your way out. You never wanna start from the end and work your way in or else you get a pucker at the end. There's a little pro tip for you. Now that we finished quilting the back of our caddy, I'm gonna take this over to the iron and iron it just to get my marks off. And then we're gonna set this aside and work on the next step. So let me do that. Now let's talk about the pockets. So in our caddy, we've made the pockets longer and scrunched them up at the end. That way they become deeper pockets. So the fusible bolzel that I have in front of me is 50 inches wide and 10 inches tall. Right here, I've got two pockets that are 10 inches by nine inches and two pockets that are 10 inches by 15 inches. We're gonna use the exact same method for the back of our pockets. I'm gonna go ahead and fuse a fabric to the back of this the entire length. And for the pockets, let me show you how you put these on. We're gonna start with a 15 inch pocket and sew it down to our fusible on one side. Let me do that. Now that I have this sewn, let me put this in the camera view. Now that I have it sewn on one side, I'm gonna put the iron on this to fuse it down. Then from here, we're gonna take our nine inch by 10 inch pocket, lay it down right sides together, and sew a quarter inch seam all the way down, kind of like the flip and sew method. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Open up my seam here. And I'm going to iron it down. And we're gonna just keep repeating this process for the rest of our pockets. So I've got two more pockets to do. I'm just gonna keep repeating these steps. Thank you. 
I've got a little bit of excess here that I'm just gonna trim off right now. So this is what we've got so far. Notice that I don't have anything on the back yet. This is our next step. So since it's 50 inches wide, we're going to have to piece a section. So I've just got this neutral blue that I'm going to piece right sides together and then fuse it right onto the back. There we go. For this part of the project, I'm going to open up this seam. And what I like to do is line up my seam with the center of my, of my pocket strips that I've got going on here. So I'm gonna lay this out just like this and fuse this down. As you can tell, I've got a lot of excess right now hanging off the back end here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. The next step is to quilt this. I'm not gonna do any crazy quilting on this caddy. You can add as many stitches as you like, but for this video, I'm just gonna do some stitch in the ditch and all the way around the perimeter of the pockets. Let me go ahead and do that. The next step is to trim this all up right against your fusible. If you have any excess fabric hanging over, we need to trim that all up now. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and just follow my fusible bozel. Now that we've done this to all four sides, we need to prep our binding because we're at our final stages here. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I have cut here my binding strips. These are two and a half inch by width of fabric strips. We're going to sew them right sides together and open them up to create one long strand of binding. Let me go ahead and do that. Now that I have my binding sewn together, I'm going to need to fold them in half and iron them. Give me just one second to rearrange everything so we can get that done. Now that I've set up for ironing, I'm just going to take this and fold this in half, wrong sides together, and iron them all the way down. Now that I have a strip of this, I'm going to sew my binding on to the back and flip to the front. So let me go ahead and sew this down and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna flip our binding over to the front side and I'm gonna pin this all the way down and machine bind it on it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I absolutely love the glass head pins that are really fine, which is what I'm using right now because they work great for binding. Let me bring them over here. Now it's time to assemble our caddy. I've just laid down our back portion of our caddy, right side up or the side that I want showing. Next, we're gonna do the same with our pockets here. And I'm lining up the middle of my pockets with the middle of my caddy. The next step is to sew down the middle line, hooking both the back and the pockets together. You're gonna to do, you're going to do the same as well on the sides of your caddy, and it's going to pucker or bubble a little bit, that's okay, we need that for the next part. But let me show you this in the top camera. We've got a nice pucker here, and we're gonna sew both ends and the center down. Let me go ahead and do that. Now that I have my ends sewn and the center sewn, you can see that I've got these big bubbled like pockets right now. 
what we have to do is we want to make these as even as possible. We want to distribute this bubble or this pucker evenly across this section here and the section over here. To do that, or what I think is the easiest way to do that, is you want to just take the bottom, let me see if I can't put this on the camera so you, you can see what I'm talking about, is to take the bottom and try to fold it over onto itself just like this, which then kind of boxes out the bottom of your pockets here. If you do that onto both sides, it gives you a really, really nice looking pocket. It will require some pins, so let me grab my pins and let me show you this on camera. So, so I'm gonna stick a pin right here because I got a bubble in both sides here. And then all I'm going to do is squash this down and try to box it in on both sides. So there's one side there. Stick a pin through it. And then I'm gonna box it on this side as well. So that right there is finished. We just have to sew the bottom and let's do it to this side as well. Now that I have these all pinned up how I like, I'm going to sew the bottom of all of these pockets, which then will close off all the pockets. So let me go ahead and do that. Take it over to our sewing machine here. If you have a walking foot, now's the time to use it. But I'm just gonna use what I've got right now. Now that this is sewn, what I'm gonna do is, let me see if I can't show you on this other camera. See, I've got one giant pocket. I'm going to just stitch in the ditch right along here, which then will give me two divided pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you have any excess fabric on the bottom here that's hanging over, go ahead and trim that off. I'm gonna just use a pair of scissors to do this and trim off just anything excess. Now the final step is to finish the binding all the way around this and then our caddy is going to be done. We're going to do the exact same method that we did for the pockets. We're going to sew to the back side and flip to the front. And I'm going to go ahead and just sew this on all the way around. So here it is, the Bedside Caddy. This was a super awesome project to make. If you have liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name is Tiank, I'm teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Ya Quilting. Mm -hmm.